Well, welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. My co-host, Mr. Brody, is here. You know, Clinton Park's been mentioning that Mr. Brody has not been in our videos lately. Well, he has been in our um, Stratomatic videos, just not in our Inside Sports uh, Games videos because we play that on the laptop. And I think, as I mentioned before, we do not have uh, some reason the camera will not work with that laptop for some reason. It used to, but for some reason it does not now. So, but every other thing should have Mr. Brody or Miss Mags in it. Um, but anyway, so today we're going to be playing another game from the 1978 Boston Red Sox season. This is game number 127 of the season against the California Angels in um, at Fenway Park. It's going to be Paul Hartzell going for the California Angels against Jim Wright for the Red Sox. So the Red Sox will try to creep a little closer to first place here. Um, just want to thank Bleacher Bums Gaming for uh, their 100 subscriber raffle, which uh, which we ended up winning here at Higher Ground Gaming. So thank you for that. Thank you to um, Mr. and Mrs. Bleacher Bum Gaming and Daisy uh, for that. Um, check out their channel. Uh, his channel, he does a lot of... Um, um, yeah, why can't I think of it now? Um, payoff pitch baseball, stratomatic baseball, among other things. Um, so definitely check out his channel. Very interesting channel there. Um, among our other subs ones that we subscribe to, to check out those like our Red Sox fan ID gesture, tabletop baseball, Clinton Parks, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> so anyway, without further ado, let's get this game underway. As we're nearing close to the end of the season here. Or this game is from August 26th of 1978. Welcome, Welcome to the Let's play ball. Mr. Brody's in his co-host seat, ready to call the game. As you can see, it's a bad day here at Fenway Park. Um, as you can tell in the bottom right-hand corner of the field, it's going to limit the amount of home runs uh, to left field, just 1 to 7, and right field 1 to 13. It doesn't really affect the singles, I don't think, too much, maybe just a little bit. So bad weather here at Fenway Park today. Hopefully we can get the game in. It's going to be Jim Wright on the hill. He's got a record of 8-7 and seven on the season with an ERA of 4.38, 96 innings pitched, 133 hits allowed. So he's allowed quite a few hits in those 96 innings. 24 walks and 49 strikeouts and has surrendered a whopping 15 home runs, almost twice as much as he did in the actual season. And he's already um, allowed 24 walks, which is what he did for the entire season. Um, he's only got a couple, few more starts left, but... Still, it's a little bit higher, and he's already, uh, the hits also, too, he's gone over that already with 133 hits. He only let up 122 in 116 innings, so not having quite as good a year, although he does have the eight wins. Uh, he's got three more losses, eight and seven, so hopefully we can get another win today and uh, get him his ninth win. So for the California Angels, Rick Miller, the ex-Red Sox, will lead it off. He'll be playing center field. He'll be followed by Carney F Lansford, the future Red Sox, playing third base. Lyman Bostock, the right fielder, will bat third. The late Don Baylor will bat cleanup in DH. 
Joe Rudy, the left fielder, hits fifth. Ron Fraley, the first baseman, hits sixth. Brian Downey is behind the plate, batting seventh. Dave Chalk is the shortstop, hitting eighth. And Bobby Gritch, the second baseman, will bat ninth. So that's the lineup for the visiting California Angels. So the defense behind right is going to be Rice, Lynn, and Evans. In the infield, Hobson, Burleson, Brohammer, and Scott. And behind the plate, Carlton Fisk. So the corner, Hobson and Scott are playing in for Miller. Miller comes in hitting 253 on the season with 20 runs batted in. Dude. All right, sorry about that. Our baseball reference decided it would play an ad. <laughs> Never, haven't had that happen before, but we did this time, so let's we're not gonna close this up here. Hopefully that will not disturb us again. Anyway. So Wright looks in for the sign from Fisk. Here's the wind up in the pitch. Let's move up Wright's card. It's a six and that is going to be a double into the corner. So Wright's struggles continue as he lets up a leadoff double to Rick Miller. So I'll have to pay attention. Detroit has a lead over Milwaukee one nothing. And the Yankees and Oakland are scoreless. Those are the two teams, Yankees and Milwaukee, ahead of the Red Sox in the standings. So Carney Lansford steps to the plate, hitting 304 with six homers and 49 runs batting, a chance to put the Angels on the board first. Here's the windup in the pitch. It's going to be off the one column. It's going to be a ground ball to Brohammer, who's at second. Flips over to Lansford. Did not notice that at first. So Bro, Jerry Remy getting the day off. Brohammer playing second today. So Miller move over to third on the ground out. So a runner on third of the one down for Lyman Bostock. Comes in hitting 297 with six homers and 58 runs batted in. Here's the line to pin the pitch. And he's going to get a good one to hit here. And that is going to be the second double of the inning as Miller trots home. So Bostock has himself an RBI double and putting the Angels on the board 1-0. The Red Sox would win this game 7-1 in actuality. So to bring up Don Baylor. Don Baylor comes in hitting 275 with 38 homers and 105 runs batted in. Has already surpassed his home run and RBI total for the season. With still 100 more at bats. So he could totally destroy both those numbers. His average is 20 points higher than it was on the actual season also. So Baylor with a chance to increase the California lead here. Here's the wind up in the pitch. It's going to be off the five column of right. And that's going to be a range check on Fisk. It's going to be a foul out. Looks like he gets under it and he'll make the catch for out number two. So Fisk makes a one-handed grab of the of the foul pop as Fisk, Scott, and Hobson all collide on the play. So two down now for Joe Rudy. Joe Rudy comes in hitting 258 with 14 homers and 62 runs batted in. It's going to be off the four column of right. And, oh, and a range, dreaded range check on Hobson here. And, as usual, an error on Hobson. He'll muff it. So Bostock will move to third. So it'll put runners at the corners. So it brings up Ron Fairley hitting 271 with seven homers and 34 runs batted in. Right, hoping to get out of it and not having the error hurt him. Oh, but Fairley's going to get a good one to hit here, though. And the error does prove costly as... Fairly gets himself an RBI single, so that will be an unearned run with Bostock coming home. And it's 2 nothing Angels. So Brian Downey up now. Hitting 239 with six homers and 47 runs batted in. Already surpassing his RBI total and close to 
getting his home run mark of seven. So off the four column. And strikeout looking. But the Angels get two, one of them unearned. So after one half, it's California two and Boston coming up. Paul Hartzell on the hill. Hartzell comes in with a five and four record. 4.15 earn run average. Has pitched 100 e uh, innings, allowing 104 hits, 25 walks, and 34 strikeouts. And has surrendered nine homers. So the Red Sox lineup is as follows. Rick Burleson will bat first. He'll be followed by Jack Brohammer batting for playing in the lineup for Jerry Remy batting second. Batting third is the left fielder Jim Rice. Batting cleanup and DHing today is the captain Kali Stremski. Batting fifth, Carlton Fisk. Fred Lynn is the center fielder hitting sixth. Dwight Evans, the right fielder, will bat seventh. George Scott is your first baseman hitting eighth, and Butch Hobson, the third baseman, will bat ninth. So Burleson comes in hitting 274 with a homer and 40 runs batted in. Hartzell looks in for the sign. Let's look, look at the defense quickly. Uh, for the Angels, Rudy, Miller, and Bostock in the outfield. All very good to excellent range. Uh, very low error ratings. And with Miller having the best arm in center with a minus two. Lansford, Chuck, Rich, and Fairley in the infield. All average except for Gritch, who's below average range. And Chalk, the most error prone at short. And Ron Fairley, the most sure-handed at first. Downing behind the plate has average range. Very good error rating. And but below average arm. Hartzell on the hill. Below average range. Uh, does not commit any errors. And is ne neutral or average at holding runners on. So here's the pitch to Burleson. It's going to be off the sixth column of Hartzell, and that's going to be a fly ball to center. Miller's there and makes the catch. So one down now. That was he dives for it, actually. So that brings up Jack Brohammer getting a start today. Comes in hitting 235 with 16 runs batted in and 153 at bats. So that's going to be off the three column. And that's a ground ball to first, fairly up with it. Races the first and beats Brohammer for the out. So two up and two down for the Red Sox in the first. As you seem to be stuck here a little bit. So this should be switching to Jim Rice. Let's give it a second here. There he is. All right, so Jim Rice up now. Rice comes in hitting 303 on the season. It's been a bit of a slump lately. Just watch his average drop a little bit. 35 homers and 102 runs batted in. He would be the AL MVP of the 1978 season. And it's off the sixth column. And that's a fly ball to center. Mill is there, and he'll make the catch for out number three. So the Red Sox go in order. And after one, it's 2 nothing California. So Dave Chalk to lead it off for the Angels here in the top of the second. Chalk comes in hitting 270 with a homer and 43 runs batted in. Hobson and Scott playing in on the grass. And he's going to be swinging away. He's going to get a good one to hit here. But he'll pop it up. Scott backpedals a little bit and makes the catch. So one down in the California second. Brings up Bobby Gritch, the number nine hitter. Gritch comes in hitting 246 with six homers and 40 runs batted in. Right, looks in for the sign from Fisk. Kicks and delivers off the one column. And that's going to be a base hit to right. Goes the opposite field. So Gritch on with a one out single. Scott will hold him on. The top of the order, Miller comes to, to bat. He doubled his first time up. Came around the score of the first California run. Two column. And that's going to be a walk. So Fisk will go out to talk to right. Try to settle him down. Gets back behind the plate. Carney Lansford up now. Grounded out his first time up. Runners on first and second. And that's going to be a range check on Brohammer. One to four will be a hit. Anything else will be he'll get in front of it. Gets in front of it. 
See what he does with it here. Dives and grabs it over to second for one, back to first, and he turns a great double play. So nice diving stop by Brohammer. Gets up and turns two, four, six, three. And that'll do it for the Angels in the second. So Red Sox will come up in home half of the second, down by two. It's going to be a Stremski, Fisk, and Lynn. Stremski hitting 275 with 11 homers and 53 runs batted in. Stremski will get a good one to hit here. And that's going to be a base hit to right field. See Stremski on with a leadoff single, so the tying run will come to the plate now. Carlton Fisk. Fisk hitting 298 on the season. 16 homers and 70 runs batted in. Fairly holding on Yastrzemski. Is the wind up in the pitch. It's going to be off the two column with Fisk. And he'll line out the third. Fires over to first and gets him. So Yastrzemski caught off the bag there. Bang, bang play there. So that'll empty the bases for Freddie Lynn. Freddie Lynn, 297 hitter, 21 homers and 73 runs batted. He needs one more home run to tie his home run total for the season. Six column. And that's a fly ball to his counterpart. Miller has it and will make the catch. So nothing doing for the Red Sox in the second. And after two, it's two nothing Angels. I have some scores here. Baltimore edging Seattle 1 0. Detroit leads Milwaukee 1 0, which is good news. Oakland and New York are scoreless still. Toronto and Minnesota are knotted at one. White Sox and Indians. Uh, Chicago leads 2 0. Stone and Clyde dueling. Texas slipping by Kansas City, also 2 0. And same score here with Boston trailing California 2 0. So Bostock will lead it off for the Angels here in the top of the third. Had an RBI double his first time up. And he lines when the bro hammer. Just right there to make the catch for out number one. That'll bring up Don Baylor. Baylor 0 for 1 on the day. Fouled out his first time up. And he'll pop out this time to Scott. So two up and two down for the Angels in the third. Joe Rudy up now. Reached on an error by Hobson. And this time he'll strike out looking. So right with his second K of the day to end the inning. So home half of the third. Red Sox will have the bottom third of the order. Evans, Scott, and Hobson. Evans, 241 on the season, 19 homers, 71 runs batted in. He already has eight more RBIs than he did on the actual season. Gets a good one to hit here. And gets all of this one as it clears the green monster into the netting. And the Red Sox are on the board with Evans' 20th home run of the season. Solo shot. So that brings up the boomer, George Scott. Scott, 248 on the season, has equaled his home run total for the season with 12, 45 ribbies. It's going to be off the four column, Hartzell. And that's a pop up to Gritch. Calls for it and makes the play. So one down in the Boston third. Already one run in on the solo shot by Evans, his 20th of the season. So Butch Hobson up now, trying to atone for his error, which did lead to a California run. 275 on the season, 12 homers, 52 runs batted in. It'll be off the five column. And this will not get it done as he flies out to left. But the Red Sox do get on the board with a solo home run by Dwight Evans, and it's now 2-1 after three. So top of the order for the Red Sox here. Well, actually, it's only two outs there. <laughs> My bad. Um, Rick Burleson up now with two down. And he'll get a single to extend the inning. So the Red Sox not done yet. As the tying run is on board now. Jack Brohammer grounded out his first time up. 
And this will end the inning as he grounds out to Fairley. And flips the hard still covering first. To end the inning now, the inning is over. So after three full now, two to one, Angels. So on the top of the fourth, it'll be Fairley, Downing, and Clark. Sorry, Chark. Chalk. Fairley had an RBI single his first time up. Gets his second base hit of the day. So a leadoff hit for the Angels. So Fairley now two for two. Brian Downing, a strikeout victim, his first time up comes to the plate. Corners are playing in, possibly expecting the bunt. All right, another range check on Hobson. Ah, it's going to be a base hit. And a triple whammy as it's a tough, as a two base error by Hobson. So Hobson commits his second error of the game and fairly will score. So no RBI on the play as Downey is now on third base as the California extends the lead now three to one. So Hobson's fielding rearing its ugly head at third, at third base once again. So perhaps they should have given Hobson the day off at third and let Burrowhammer play third and Remy that third. I think I might even wanted Remy at third. <laughs> anyway, so infield's playing in now. Now down by two. Still nobody out. Dave Trock comes to the plate. He popped up his first time up. And he's going to get a good one to hit here. And that's going to be a base hit to left. Rips a hit. So Downing will come around the score. That run also unearned. So 4-1 to one now for Bobby Gritch as Chuck does get himself an RBI single on the play. So Bobby Gritch now. Gritch singled his first time up. And he's going to be bunting. And he fouls it off. So 1-2 and two now on Gritch. And that'll be a base hit just past Burleson. As McNamara puts up the stop sign, the future Red Sox manager. So runners on first and second. As the inning continues, still nobody out. Corners are going to play in for Miller. He doubled his first time up and walked in, the se in his second time up in the second. And that's going to be a range check on Brohammer. Gets in front of it. See what he does with it. See if he can turn two here. Nope. Only play is the first. On a close play. Miller. Miller very upset with that call. Glares at the umpire. So the runners will move up. Chalk to third and Gritch to second. As we have more scores here. Let's check the scores out. Baltimore leading Seattle 2-0. Milwaukee Head of Detroit 2-1. to one. That's not good. Oakland and New York are still scoreless. Minnesota clipping Toronto 7-3. to three. Smalley's hit his 19th home run for Minnesota. Chicago White Sox in front of the Cleveland Indians 3 to nothing. Texas shutting out Kansas City 2 to nothing. And right here in Boston, California is the leads 4-1. to one. So Gritch with a chance to blow. I mean, uh, Lance with a chance to blow open the game here. He's 0 for 2. Couple of ground outs. Infield is playing in once again. And he will do just that as he singles to right. Chuck will score. They're going to hold Rich though with nobody out. So it's 5 to 1 now as Lansford gets himself an RBI single. There is action in the Red Sox bullpen. Although we're not sure who it is as Jim Wright did pitch a complete game. Um, allowing just one run in the actual game. Much different story today. So Bostock up now, one for two. And Lansford is unable to get a good lead. And that's another base hit to the opposite field. Rich comes around the score, and it's now six to one. So Wright having his troubles here in the fourth. 
Brings up Don Baylor. 0 for 2. And he winds out to Hobson. Lands for a dives back, gets in safely. So two down now. So Joe Rudy up now. Reached on an error in the first and struck out in the third. This time he'll ground out to Burleson. Fires over to Scott. And the inning is mercifully over. But California puts a four spot up there. And leads it six to one after three and a half. So Jim Rice up now. He'll lead it off of the Red Sox in the fourth. Now up by, down by five. Hots with a comfortable lead now. Rice flew out his first time up. This time does get a base hit. So Rice aboard with a leadoff single here in the fourth. Brings up the captain, Kyle Stremski, singled his first time up. And it's going to be a wild pitch. And Rice will move up the second. See, Stremski with an RBI opportunity here now. It's going to be off the one column. It's going to be a tough chance here. Hopefully we can get a 10 split. Oh, we get the 9 split. So Lansford's up with it over to first. Stremski is retired as Rice holds at second. Fisk up now. Lined out into a double play his first time up. This time draws the walk. So that'll put runners on first and second with one down. So Freddie Lynn with a chance to get a Red Sox a little closer here. Flew out his first time up. It's going to be a range check on Gritch. One to six will be a hit. Oh, just barely misses a hit. Gets in front of it. See what he does with it. Throws the first. His only play there. So Rice moves the third fist to second. So Evans has the only Red Sox RBI with a solo home run back in the third. Has a chance to play two of the single here. Going to be a tough chance here. Let's see what he can do. Nope. Pops out to Chalk. He'll make the catch to retire the side. So the Red Sox cannot plate two runners in scoring position. And it remains 6 1 after four. Jim Wright also up to 88 pitches here. Looks like the bullpen is ready. Summer is going to let him start the inning anyway. Fairly, it was two for two, strikes out this time. So Wright gets his third K of the day. It'll bring up Downing. Struck out in the first and reached on an error and came around the score by Hobson. A single, sorry, a single and a two base error by Hobson, who is one for two. Strikes out again, so Wright strikes out the first two batters of the fourth. Sorry, the fifth. And it'll bring up Chalk, who had himself one for two with an RBI single. Gets himself a base hit. So it looks like that's going to be it for right as Zimmer signals for the bullpen. Let's see who he's going to bring in here. Let's see who's got some space here. Could go with Stanley. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go with Stanley. So Stanley in with some long relief here. Steamer comes in with a 4-3 and three record, 15 saves, 3.27 earn run average. 96 innings pitched, 111 hits allowed. 19 walks, 28 strikeouts, and has surrendered three homers. So he'll come in with a two outs and a run run first. He'll face Gritch. Responsibility of right. Gritch two for two with a run scored. A couple of singles. Ooh, he's going to get a chance to get a hit here. Oh, he grounds one to Stanley. Grabs it over to first, and that'll do it. So halfway through, it's California six and Boston one. The Boomer 
George Scott will lead it off against Hartzell. He popped up his first time up. Gets a good one to hit here. And lines a single to center. So Butch Hobson flew out his first time up, comes to the plate. This time we'll pop one up to Gritch, calls for it, and makes the catch. Scott back to first. So Rick Burleson up now. One for two with a single. Gets his second hit of the day as this gets past Chalk. They're going to hold Scott at second. Down by five. So runners on first and second with one down. Brohammer's grounded out twice so far. Make that a third ground out. Lansford over to second for one. Back to first. And not in time. So Broham will reach on the field as choice. Scott moves to third, so it'll put runners at the corners for Jim Rice. Red Sox fans would like a long shot by Rice here. He's already got 35 on the season. Doesn't look like he's going to get it here, though. As he pops one out to Gritch down the inning. So Rice unable to come through in the clutch. And it remains... A Cal five run California lead as we head to the sixth. Stanley back out there. He'll face the top of the order Miller, Lansford, and Bostock. Miller one for two with a double off of right. Gets his second hit. So Miller on with a leadoff single. Brings up Lansford. One for three with an RBI single. And Stanley continues to be a hit machine this year <laughs> as he surrenders his second hit of the inning. It'll put runners at the corners with nobody out. As Fisk goes out to talk to Stanley, goes back behind. Nobody, no action in the Red Sox pen. Bostock two for three, the double comes to the plate. And the third hit of, for California in the inning. We'll play another run. It's now 7-1 for Don Baylor. Doesn't get any easier. Baylor looking for his first hit of the day. And he's going to fly, hit a pop fly to Burleson. Catches it on the outfield grass for out number one. Lansford will hold. Joe Rudy up now. Reached on an error back in the first. 0 for 3 on the day. And that's to be a base hit, so another run will come in. So Stanley doing what he does best. <laughs> Give up hits. Now 8-1. to one. Fairly 2-3 for three with an RBI will come to the plate. My goodness. And Ron Fairley goes deep, 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 and gone. So Stanley just awful here. And California has blown it wide open now. A 10-run lead, double-digit lead. And that is going to be... Boy. We're going to leave Stanley in. Let him finish the inning. He's made his bed. Now he's going to line it. So Brian Downing, one for three of the runs scored. Hits one to Hobson. Over to first for out number two. So let's check out the scores here. Baltimore head of Seattle, 6 0. Good news here, though. Milwaukee, Detroit is beating up on Milwaukee, 6 2. So the Red Sox will not lose any ground to the Brewers. Yankees and Oakland still scoreless. And you can check out the rest of the scores there. So Dave Chuck up now, 2 for 3 with an RBI. And he will fly to Lynn and Center to end the inning. But. California puts up another five and has a commanding 11 1 lead. 11 to 1 lead after five and a half. Stremsky to lead it off. One for two. Range check on Downing. Oh, didn't let that one stop, but Downing makes the catch of the pop up for out number one. Fisk up now. 
Go for one with a walk. You can get his first hit of the day. Freddie Lynn over for two. And he will fly out to Miller in center. So two down now, the runner on first for Dwight Evans. Responsible for the only Red Sox run of the day with a solo homer. Back in the third. This time we'll draw the walk. So that'll bring up the Boomer, one for two. And he flies out to Miller to end the inning. So after six full, California leads by ten. Mr. Brody not too happy with this as he's snoozing away. Doesn't even want to look at the game. It's been very quiet this game. Bob Stanley back out there. Gritch two for three with a run scored. Strikes out Gritch swing for out number one. That brings up Rick Miller, top of the order. He's got a pair of hits today, two for three. Corners are playing in. Grounds won the Burleson. Over to Scott for out number two. Carney Lansford singled his last two times up as an RBI in the day. Two for four. Another range check for Brohammer. Gets in front of it. And we'll make the play over to first to end the inning. So Stanley with a one, two, three inning. As we head to the seventh inning stretch, Mr. Brody and Miss Mags have prepared the trivia question. So in 1930, Hack Wilson hit a career high of how many home runs? Oh boy. I do not know. That is a tough one. I'm going to say 40. 41. Let's go 41. He has a trivia question. 56. So Hack Wilson hits 56 home runs with the Cubs. So thank you, Mr. Brody and Miss Mags, for that trivia question. 1930, Hack Wilson hit 56 home runs for his career high. Alrighty, so the Red Sox up in the seventh now. We'll have Hobson, Burleson, and Brohammer. Hobson 0 for 2 on the day. Gets one to hit here, though. And that's going to be off the green monster. Hobson into second with a leadoff double. Burleson up now. 2 for 3 on the day. Also gets one to hit here. And that's going to be a base hit to center. And we're going to hold them down by 10. So to put runners at the corners with nobody out, good start to the Red Sox 7th. They need a ton of runs. Got to start somewhere. So Jack Brohammer 0 for 3 on the day comes to the plate. And that'll be a base hit. Hobson will come home with the second Red Sox run. Burleson will hold that second. There is some action in the California bullpen. So it brings up Jim Rice, hitless on the... Uh, no, he does have one hit of the day. One for three. That does not look like he's going to get another one. And this could be two. Lansford over to Gritch for one. Back to first. As Burleson moves to third. But now with two down. So Yastrzemski, one for three, comes to the plate. And he'll ground out to Gritch to end the inning. So the Red Sox... Do get one, but still very far behind. 11 to 2 now. Stanley back out there for his third full inning of work. Bostock 3 for 4, the double. Three runs batted in. Gets himself his fourth hit of the day. Don Baylor hitless on the day. Draws the walk. Brings up Joe Rudy, one for four with an RBI. 
And that's going to be a base hit. So that will load the bases. And that is going to be it for Stanley. As Zimmer makes his trot to the mound. We'll bring, up, bring in Andy Hassler here. Lefty on lefty. So Hassler comes in. Three and three on the season. One save, 4.09 earner on average. Eight, 66 hits allowed. I mean, sorry, 66 innings pitched. 85 hits allowed, 26 walks, and 24 strikeouts. Fairly three for four with a homer. And hit strikes out. Took that one. So one down now. Corners are playing in for Downing. Downing one for four with a run scored. And that is a ground ball to Bro Hammer. Throws the first as a Bostock comes in. So Downing gets himself an RBI. Now 12 to 2. Runners move up second and third now. Chalk two for four on the day. Gets one to hit. And that will most likely score two. We'll throw for the lead. Yep. Two more runs come in. So two runs single for Chalk. And it's a commanding 14 to two lead. Gritch two for four. Draws the walk. Rick Miller, two for four with a double. Also draws the walk. So the Red Sox pitching has been awful today. And that is going to be it for Hassler. Oh boy, don't know who we're going to bring in now. I guess Bill Campbell. Campbell comes in 4-2, 272 on an average. 40 innings pitch, 41 hits allowed. We'll let 10 walks and 33 strikeouts in the surrendered four homers. <laughs> and a base hit by Campbell. So it doesn't matter who the Red Sox bring in. I'm going to hold it. So another run comes in. Now 16-2. to two. Or is that two runs come in? Yeah, two runs come in. And Bostock gets his fifth hit of the day. Ouch. 17 to 2. Another RBI. Don Baylor. About the only angel that hasn't gotten a hit 0 for 4. Till probably now. And yep, Baylor gets himself a base hit. Oh boy. So the bleeding continues now. 18 to 2. What a thrashing. Nobody left in the bullpen. This is Campbell's game here. Oh my goodness. Double into the corner. Twenty to two now. Ron fairly up now. And finally, the inning will come to an end. But California plates nine as they bat around. And it's twenty to two. This might be their worst loss of the season. So the collapse, Red Sox collapse today. Fisk leads it off here. Hartzell back out for the eighth. And why not? He's got an 18 run lead. So Hartzell will get his sixth win of the day. I and mean, win of the win of the day, win of the season. Downey makes the catch, and Fisk is retired. Who cares about the scores? Other than Detroit is beating Milwaukee, so that is good news. And Oakland is on top of New York, so... But the silver lining is the Red Sox will not lose any ground if those scores hold up. And... Lynn is going to go deep. So Lynn gets his 22nd home run, matching a season total. And the few remaining Red Sox fans are cheering. More of a mock cheer. Dwight Evans also solo home run today. This time strikes out. So 
Scott up now. One for three. Beat that one for four. And the Red Sox are done in the eighth. 20 to three after eight. Campbell out to finish it up here for the Red Sox. Downing one for five with an RBI. And gets hit by a pitch. California Angels not too pleased with that, as that was definitely an intent looked intentional there. So warnings are issued for both teams. And that is going to be a double into the corner. Rice retrieves it. Downing stops at third, so nobody out. Runners on second and third as the Angels continue to pound the Red Sox. Ground ball to Brohammer. Over to first as Downing scores. So Rich gets himself an RBI. Miller two for four. Draws the walk. Thank goodness. Carney Lansford. He'll fly, pop up to Burleson, who makes the catch. Bostock having an excellent day, probably player of the game today. He's five for six with three runs batted in. And <laughs> Bostock gets his sixth hit of the day, so that solidifies definitely his player of the game. Don Baylor got to hit his last time up. And strikes out this time. So we head to the bottom of the ninth with the Angels on top, 22-3. to three. Ouch. Hobson will lead it off, one for three of the double. Lines a single. And let's see if we can bring in a pinch hitter for the rooster here. Let's see here, see if anybody needs some at-bats here. I guess we could bring in, let's have Gary Hancock come in the pinch hit. Might as well. So Hancock comes in, 304 on the season, four runs batted in. Hobson gets his lead off first, and he lines out the first. So one gone in the Red Sox ninth. Jack Brohammer, one for four with an RBI. Lines out to second. So Red Sox mercifully down to their last out. Jim Rice up to the plate now, one for four. And that will end it as he flies out to Miller. So the Red Sox get destroyed by the California Angels, 22 to three. Thankfully, it only counts for one loss. No matter how much of a crushing defeat it was. Mr. Brody is speechless. Got nothing to say about this. So let's look at the totals here. Paul Hartzell gets the win, 6-4. and four. Goes the distance, despite allowing 12 hits on three runs. Two walks and a strikeout. So 6-4. and four. Jim Wright with the loss, now 8-8. Eight and eight. Last four and two-thirds innings, allowing 11 hits, six runs, five of them earned. One walk and four strikeouts. Um, Bob Stanley was absolutely awful. Two and a third innings, seven hits, eight runs, all of them earned. One walk, one strikeout. Surrendered a home run. Andy Hassler, pretty bad himself. Two-thirds of an inning, one hit. Three runs, three earned runs, two walks and a strikeout. And Bill Campbell, also very, also extremely awful. One and a third, six hits allowed, five runs, all of them earned, one walk and one strikeout. That's as bad as it gets for a bullpen there. As bad as it gets for a pitching staff. So let's look at the Angels uh, batting. Rick Miller, two for four. So all the Angels starters got hits. Mil at least one hit. Most of them multiple. Rick Miller, two for four, three runs scored. Carney Lansford, three for seven, two runs scored, and and three runs batted in. And player of the game, Lyman Bostock, six for seven, four runs scored, five runs batted in. 
So Bostock did also had a double. Uh, Don Baylor, one for six with two runs scored at RBI. Joe Rudy, fine day, three for six, two runs scored, and three runs batted in. Fairly, another fine day. Three for six with two runs scored and four runs batted in. Fairly hit his eighth home run of the season. Brian Downing, one for five with two runs scored in RBI. Dave Chalk, another fine day. Four for six with three runs scored, three runs batted in. And Bobby Gritch, two for six with two runs scored and one run batted in. So the California Angels look like the 27 Yankees today. <laughs> For the Red Sox, Rick Burleson, 3 for 4. Gary Hancock, pinch hitter, 0 for 1. Jack Brohammer, 1 for 5 with an RBI. Jim Rice, 1 for 5. Kai Shemsky, 1 for 4. Fisk, 1 for 3. Fisk, one, uh, Lynn, 1 for 4 with a solo homer. It's 22nd of the season, matching his season total. Dwight Evans hit his 20th home run of the season, 1 for 3. George Scott, one for four, and Butch Hobson, two for four with a run scored. So all the Red Sox start is with at, le with at least a hit, but not much to show in the run column for it. So let's close out this one and get out of this game and go on to the next game. So let's check the standings after this. So, with the loss, the Red Sox remain four games out of first. As Milwaukee did lose today. The Yankees also lost, so they'll remain two games behind the Yankees, who are two games out. So, the Red Sox currently 74-53, and 53, six games off their pace. The Yankees 76-51, and 51, three games ahead of their pace. Milwaukee 79-50. and 50. Six games ahead of their pace. In the West, the Kansas City Royals. Game and a half ahead of the Angels, who Kansas City, I believe, yeah, they lost two in a row. So the Angels just one and a half games behind Kansas City for the division lead. Texas three games out, and Minnesota creeping in at four and a half. So... Next game, game number 128, Saturday, August 27th, will be. Let's check it here. Milwaukee wins this game. And the Yankees also win. So the Red Sox will need to win this game to, main, to keep the standings the same. And it's going to be Al Fitzmorris for the Angels against. Something, yep, against Louis Tiant for the Red Sox. So Tiant hoping the right to ship for the Red Sox. As we get close to the last month of the season. So take care. God bless. And we'll see you in game number 128. Bye-bye now.